All right. I guess we just spend the rest of the day talking to other folks. Yes, Adventurer's Guild. Perfect. And what do we always do? Damn, you have your own kingdom, bitch. Legend says only virgins can see unicorns. You pretend you can't see it. Good see hero man. Good hero man here. Toro like hero man. Good see hero man. Like Silmaria. Feel like home, like guild, important job. Miss Elsa, want Elsa be here more. Glad see you. Good place talk adventure. Good place make body strong. Good place learn things. Good place. Toro come here. Guild guy ask Toro if adventurer. Toro say yes. Guild guy say Toro, guild master. Guild guy go, Toro stay. Toro, guild master. Ain't that something? Come here with Elsa. No like man Elsa with. Stay here in Silmaria. Elsa good. Elsa hero. Make brigands leave Spearberg. Fight brother all time. Brother dumb, but brother boss. Dumb boss, bad boss. Elsa leave Spielberg. Elsa come here be boss. Elsa good boss. Man got money. Man got big house. Man got big boat. Man got Elsa. No like man. Hope see hero man later. You good man. Thank you. Let's twerk out. Gotta stay fit. Sick. 
dead parrot is open. What is nighttime already in it? Darn. Yeah, you too. I agree. Oh, shit. Greetings. I am Signor Ferrari, and this is my associate, Ugarte. I believe we've had the pleasure of meeting you some time ago in distant Brazil. You've made quite a name for yourself, haven't you? It'll be interesting to see what you can do for Silvaria. Rumor has it that you could be her next king. I am the owner of this dead parrot inn. I'm a man of vast influence, and I'm certain we should get to know each other better. It is always a pleasure to meet old friends in new places, is it not? I was forced to leave Rasir not long after you did. When the Sultan of Shapir took the city over, he did not approve of the way I did business. Yeah, well... The Dead Parrot Inn is an oasis in this dreary little kingdom. It is a place to relax, refresh yourself from your busy day. If you are skilled, you can earn some money at the Wheel of Fortune. If you are lucky, you can make some real money betting on the combat held each night at the arena. If you are very, very skilled, you can make even more money by fighting in the arena and backing your winnings with a few well-placed bets. All in all, you will find plenty to amuse yourself here at the Dead Parrot. Silmaria reminds me of Rasir when Ardavis first took over. The warning signs are there that things will get worse here before they get better. How fortunate for Silmaria that you are here. Yeah, for sure. I kick your butt. Ugarte has his uses. I am a businessman, and I've always had my sources for information. If you need to know something, I'm certain I can find out what you want to know. For a modest fee, of course. <laughs> it is good to see you again. I'm quite certain that we'll be seeing more of one another in the future. I want to give him a black eye, but he already has two. Grumch. That wasn't a joke. I was just point. I was just being observation, making observation, being. Mm, what is language? I don't understand what it's words good are. To see you again. We parted the last time under most unfortunate circumstances. I was afraid I would not see you or anything else again. Fortunately, I got lucky. I am doing rather well for myself here in Silmaria. There are many things which I know that others want to know as well. Silmaria has her little secrets, and I make a point of finding them. This island is not the pretty little resort it seems to be. There are many dangers for the unwary here. You wish to know rumors? I make a living from selling rumors. However, since we are such old friends, I will be happy to share a little of my knowledge with you. There is talk that there will soon be an invasion of this island. Already, many people have left. I will be happy to provide letters of transit should you care to leave here too. Yes. Farewell, my friend. If you have any need of my services in the future, Usually find me here at the inn. We see lots of old faces in this game. Well, Noir, look who walked in. What can I do for you, tall, blonde, and handsome? I know what I'd like to do for him. My name is Budar. If you see something you like, just let me know. If you like what you see, let me know. 
Sleazy. Oh, it's always a pleasure to meet a man like you. I prefer the pleasures that come after meeting the man, who now are maybe a miss, but she doesn't miss much. Nawar and I come from Razir, where the desert sand is hot. That's not the only thing that's hot. I'll be happy to serve you a drink. What can I get for you? The Dead Parrot Inn is the place to visit if you'd like a little nip now and then. I know I like to nip every once in a while. Oh, you can gamble on combat or skill or on love, if you like. I know which I'd like. Just call her Melody. She's real sharp, knocks guys flat, and boy, does she know the score. Welcome to Samaria, oh hider in harems. We didn't get a chance to get to know you last time we met. I'd certainly like to get to know you better. Oh, this is not a bad place to be, once you get to know it. There are better things to get to know here. Come on back and see me sometime. I was expecting that line. Hello there, stranger. My name is Nawa, and I'll be happy to help you any way. I'm sorry, Arana is the only woman for me. She's pure. I'm happy to greet you any day. And also, you're just like a cat in heat. It's a pleasure to meet you. Speaking of pleasure, the dead parrot is a good place to come when you want some company. This is the wheel of fortune. Just show me your money. Silmaria can be cold at night this time of year. You might need something to warm your bed. Or perhaps someone so we have met before I thought so I'd never forget your face come back soon I can't wait to see you um smile again you nasty I keep doing like my pointer cursor whatever to the top of the screen for the menu and I'm like, it's not there, where is it? Where has it gone? I don't know why I did that. That's not... There. I know, I'm being finicky. Excuse me. So... You want to play with me a little? Hit the parrot. Well, maybe the parrot does deserve it. Lol. Oh shit, I missed. Aww. Oh, piss. <laughs> you low, sucker. Oh damn, I do want to hit it. I'll learn to play that later.
One armed man, of course we'll talk to him. A right pleasure it is to be meeting you, mate. I be Arrestes, the retired seaman, as it were. This be a fine place to be, stranger. You'll like it here. Rumors is it you want to be known. Well, matey, dead men tell no tales. Nor do I. Be seeing you around, I be sure. What the fuck? What is this? They have un earned their ability to use the destroy undead ability. What? That's insane. Spooky ghost. Look at all these honeys. Tomorrow will be more productive. Time sure passed quickly yesterday. I mean today. Aloha, boy. Oi, you're a sight for sure eye since I landed here. Today's special is something I think you'll really love. Well, maybe not love exactly. More like, um... Well, you'll find it interesting. It's garlic smashed potatoes and pistachio cream. Tessie was making baked potatoes and ice cream for dessert. But Tony, who was juggling the garlic, slipped on the banana that my gal Sal dropped. Tony's garlic landed on the potatoes, and Tony landed on Tessie. Tessie landed on the potatoes, and they were really smashed. So that was okay. Then Rover found that Tessie had set the ice cream on the stove, and it had all melted. Fortunately, no one likes smashed potatoes without gravy, so things worked out just fine. Oh my, that sounds horrible. We'll tuck in early today. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Feed me. Even though your food's terrible. What's the word, lovebird? Shall we wing it before we take a turn for the worst? This chick's crowing bold. So when do we flock together? I'd love to cock-a-doodle do it with you. It's funny, honey, how I'd love to be with you. I've got this thing for you. He is stalker bait all day, every day. I'm really into Poor this. rest. In fact, I was going to name this place the D Hotel. Welcome to D Hotel Calamira. You can enter any time you like, but you can never grieve, sort of thing. However, I decided to be more interesting. Something really special. Pancakes topped with fruit. They started to make a salmon souffle, but they didn't have any salmon. They did get a good deal from Andre on some anchovies, though. Sal wanted to make a blueberry pie, but Merrick was selling bananas and grapes, so she made those into a pie instead. Just as Rover was taking the souffle out of the oven, Tony called Tessie a frumpy old toadstool, so she threw the pie at him. She got him square on the face, and the fruit pie pan fell on the souffle, squashing it flat. So now we have anchovy pancakes and baked fruit. Hope you like it. Ew. Surprised it doesn't hurt us. I'm out of here, chickadoo. Gotta get our work in. Our workout in. That is. Yeah. easy. 